Most Americans believe they will need to acquire more than $1 million to retire comfortably. But many, including a significant number of older people, are far from reaching that savings goal. A new survey from financial services firm Credit Karma shows 27% of all Americans have no retirement savings, including 401ks and Roth IRAs. And 27% of these respondents are aged 59 and older. CBS News Money Watch Associate Managing Editor Amy Peakey joins us now. Amy, these are some um, pretty big statistics that Elaine just rattled off there. Now, you wrote an article for CBSNews.com exploring older Americans' troubling lack of retirement savings and more. So, in addition to these statistics, Credit Karma also found about one in five respondents, 59 and older, don't even have retirement accounts. That's the highest share of any generation. Why are so many older Americans not prepared financially? Yeah, it might seem a little bit of a surprise given that um, you know, boomers started working at a time when pensions were a lot more common than today, and not many workers today have pensions. But it comes down to the fact that you know, throughout the generations, even boomers, um, a lot of people just don't have access to retirement plans. They don't work for a company that has a 401k or a pension, and so it's been on them to save, and that makes it a lot harder to put away money if your employer isn't offering a plan like that. And I also want to point out that you know the boomer generation has a lot of older women who maybe didn't work full time, work part time, or they were more likely to stay at home um, and raise a family than younger generations. And we know for a fact that older women are less prepared for retirement than older men for that reason. So kind of all those things boil down to the fact that yes, there are a lot of older Americans heading into retirement without any of their own retirement savings. And Amy, uh, this survey comes as lawmakers grapple with the health of Social Security. It is on track to be depleted in just 10 10 years. So how exactly would that hurt retirees? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. The, the, the truth of the matter is Social Security will still be there, but everybody on Social Security is looking at a cut to their benefits. And right now, uh, the current benefits will be cut to about 70 cents, 77 cents on the dollar. So, you know, that's especially going to hurt those retirees who are entering retirement or in retirement without any of their own savings, because it means they're going to take a more than 20% shave to their benefits. And we know that already at current benefit levels, it's hard to make ends meet if you're only getting Social Security. And experts say, you know, if this happens, we're probably going to see an increase in poverty among older Americans. So it could be devastating for a lot of retirees. Amy, so what is your practical advice? What can older Americans do to boost their retirement savings? Yeah, while well, talking with experts about this, you know, they say there are a few things to do. Um, you know, one is if you have access to a 401k plan or another type of retirement plan, you can actually do a catch up contribution if you're over 50. Um, and that's been increased by uh, Congress and, and the IRS. So, for instance, in 2023, people over 50 can save up to $30,000 in their 401ks or other retirement plans. And that's $7,500 more than people under 50. So if you can do it, do it. But we know mm -hmm. for a fact that only about 18% of people do these catch up uh, savings. Um, the other thing to do is a really small change. It's called automatic escalation. If you have a 401k, you can say to your 401k plan, increase my contribution by 1% a year. So you're going to go from maybe 10% to 11% you know, each year. And that's a small change, but it really can make a difference over time. Um, so that's another benefit that you can look forward to or take advantage of. Some really important mm -hmm. recommendations. Amy Peaky. Amy, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on.